Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I'm going to discuss alias in SQL. So in interview, uh, you may see these kind of questions that what is the alias in SQL? So you must be familiar with this. This is a, a very important to simplify the query, to improve the readability of query and to handle the joins, right? So alias is a temporary name given to the column or a table. So you can give the temporary name. Let's say uh, there, is, there is a table and you are pulling the data from the database. Okay. And uh, by any reason, you will not be able to understand what does this mean by segment. Okay. So you can rename this by using alias and how to use alias alias is used with as keyword and you can give the another name instead of segment so here if you see in the output here if you see so now the column name is as it is as it is in the database but if you want to change this you can change okay as And I will say classification, right? So like this, uh, maybe I used another name, right? And now this query, this query will always return me the column name as a classification instead of segment, right? So if I go and run the query once again, you can see that now earlier, earlier here, I, uh, I was able to see this class segments now i'm able to see classification right so this is how it works alias helps you to uh, modify the column names temporarily okay this is temporarily this is not permanent this is not going to affect the name of the table or name of the column in the database but the result whatever you will get that will have the meaningful name so you can use alias in this way for the column even while performing the joins while performing the joins okay if you if i go to the another product and here if i say i wanted to pull the data for this okay so let me keep top 10 only not more than this let me execute okay so we have these dead roles right and uh, we have table called orders and i wanted to join these uh, orders table with product to bring the product into this table okay i, do, I don't want all the columns so what i will do i will uh, remove the unnecessary columns okay, this is what i don't want I'm not using sales territory so far. Sales order number, sales order line number not required for me. Order quantity, units, unit price. Okay, this is fine. Even we can uh, keep the order number, order line number. Let's say I don't want. Okay, let me keep these means. Columns even not required all these extended and unit price and all. Okay, so order number, quantity, sales amount, these many columns I want from the orders table. And I'm going to perform the joins on the basis of another table. The table name is product. Okay, so here I can say product. Right. But the problem is that uh, we we want to bring here the product name. Okay. Product name. This is the column coming from the product table. Okay. Joining the product on the basis of what? So on the basis of product key. Right. So I will say product dot product key is equal to order order is the table order 
dot product okay. on the basis of this column even i can use okay so if i use in this way it will be a right join i don't want to use right join i want to use left join here right now the problem is okay here i uh, used orders and products and then i need to tell to the sql engine that which column is coming from the which because here i'm using two different tables right so i suppose to tell or specify the table name before the column name and this is what my requirement so now column name is, uh, sorry, table name is a little bit more specific. And uh, in case if your table name is uh, lengthier and it has more than one word, so maybe it, it comes with the four or five words. So in that case, in that case, uh, the query doesn't look good, right? It, it looks a little bit weird. Uh, so what you can do, you can use alias for the tables. So here you can specify as O. O is the order table. And here you can specify as PP is a product table. Now you will not be able to use the product. I mean, once you define the alias for the table, you are supposed to use the, the temporary name given to the, that table. So here, everywhere, wherever I use the product, I should use. Let's say order. So instead of order, I should use uh, whatever the temporary name I used as an alias. So this is how your query works. And this is how the alias for the table works right now if i execute he will get the output and the product name is coming here right so this is all about the alias so basically uh it is useful for making the column names more readable obviously we saw how we can make the column name more readable or uh, understood in in our own uh, language without uh, making changes to the database right so Another is alias is useful while performing the joins. Even it is very much useful in self join because in self join we we have to join the same tables. But yes, in that is possible based on the uh, two different instances of the same table. So using alias we will create the instances, meaning we will give the separate separate name and then we perform the joins. Alias improves the readability of the a query so that uh, user can uh, make uh, meaning alias can make the output more user friendly by providing the meaningful column headers. Even it simplifies the query the way here you can see that instead of uh, seeing orders dot orders or orders dot orders or product dot product name and kind of kind of uh, lengthier column names so this will make sense right so now one thing i would like to tell you that if you do not use as okay if you do not use as still this will work so using as keyword is not required you can give the space after the name of table or after the name of column and then you will be able to bring the SQL will understand that you are giving a temporary name to that column. Okay. So this is all about the alias in SQL. I hope you like the content. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a nice day.